I already love the way it looks. Look at how my nose look S snatched. Snatched. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl IJ. If this is your first time being here, I'm IJ and I'm pleased to meet you. Thank you for stopping by. For this video, you're welcome to my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all your support. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to apply your makeup like a pro. I know there are many people out there who are interested in makeup and they still have some difficulties. Maybe you're just trying to do the concealer game and you're not really getting it right. Maybe you're trying to contour and you're not getting it right. So this video is for every and anyone. If you want to perfect your game when it comes to makeup, then you need to watch this video. If you're just starting into makeup and you want to see how to, you know, navigate through the process and make it better for you so your, your makeup looks flawless, then this is for you. So I'm just going to show you guys how I do my makeup and how my makeup looks flawless. I know many people give me compliments whenever I do my makeup. So if you want to have your makeup look flawless and like you want to blend like a pro, then just keep watching. So this is going to be a talk through video. I'm going to talk throughout the video. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to use or what I will be using and some recommendations if I have any along the way. The first thing you want to do, you cannot just apply foundation on your face without moisturizing your face or maybe without having a good base. If you guys want me to do a video where I show you how I prep my skin before applying foundation, then let me know. I can do that for you guys. But before you apply anything on your face in the line of makeup, foundation or whatsoever or powder, you want to make sure you have a good base it's because some of these products will actually suck out some of your moisture and stuff so you want to make sure that you have a very good base and a good base starts with you moisturizing your skin the one that i normally use is the one that comes with spf spf is very important when it comes to your skin as ladies especially when you're under the sun and even when you're not seeing the sun the airway is going around and you don't want that to damage your skin so you need a moisturizer that has an spf to buy when you are going to buy a moisturizer make sure you look for one that has an spf this is a fenty skin and this is your moisturizer so this one actually has spf 30. so it's recommended to use a moisturizer even when you're not applying um foundation or makeup on your skin especially that which has spf in it because you protect your skin from the sun rays and then another moisturizer that i tend to use is the one from clinic and this is a clinic even better skin to correct moisturizer this one has an spf of 20 and there are so many different moisturizers out there you don't have to use this particular one that i'm using you can definitely get something that fits your budget after you have your moisturizer on you want to make sure before you put on your foundation you want to make sure you put on a primer your primer is something that helps your, your foundation to stick properly on your skin it's very very important there are many people out there with different um, skin combination you have dry skin you have those with combination skin you have those with oily skin I have combination skin I'm dry around the perimeters of my face but like on my t-zone I'm very very oily so I tend to use a primer that is mattifying so the one I'm going to use in this video is the milk makeup hydro grip primer this primer right here is the best in the market I'm telling you the truth guys because I've tried different primers and um it doesn't really do it for me so much but this right here this if your makeup was supposed to last maybe three hours this one can extend your makeup to last at least five to six hours this does a very very good job it has a very very sticky consistency to it or sticky um feeling to it that helps your foundation to even hold or grip stronger and stays in place and not move so i'm going to use it. i'm just going to take one pump and put on each don't forget the nose. I'm just going to apply it. See if you love Fenty. Fenty does have a good primer as well. And I love their, their primer. I've used it a couple of times. It does a very good job. If you have dry skin, this would definitely be the best for you. You can also try the one from Smashbox. This is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. This right here, it, blow, it blurs out your pores. 
and it keeps your makeup in place like you will not see any oil on your face if you're very oily and you have an acne prone skin i know those who have acne they tend to have a very oily skin if you're one of those who acne you want to try this this will do a very very good job for you so let's jump right into foundation there are different foundations out there some are very expensive some are very low you can afford even with um five dollars or something you can get a very good foundation on less than 10 bucks you can get a very good foundation so i'm going to use the nas um self matte foundation you can hear this one says self matte so it is mattifying as well that means it dries down very much but before i step into the foundation i want to just add just one more step now this step is optional you can do it if you want to but you don't have to do it if you have an oily skin then you want to try this step this is something that helps your foundation or your makeup to last even much longer if you're going to wear makeup for an extensive period of time maybe you want to try this step and this is using a certain powder on your primer before you actually put your foundation this step right here does magic setting powder this one is a loose face powder but it does a very good job just like this and this is under ten dollars so this is the s the the air spawn loose um face powder you can get this from any drugstore you do have two different types i'm just going to use a sponge i'm just going to place this into my skin you're going to see how this is going to just disappear into my skin and it's going to take out compare this side of my face to this side of my face those are two different things so it kind of takes out that oil then if you have dry skin you don't have to go through this step you don't have to guys I want to set my face because the goal here is to have your makeup looking flawless and you also want to have your makeup looking flawless for a long time you know you don't want to have your makeup looking flawless when you do it and then after one hour two hours you're like the makeup is like kind of falling off your face you don't want that so once i have my setting powder in i go back in now with my setting this is the morphe continuous setting mist i think i'm just going to do this and then you want to let that sink in and just dry i'm just going to you can use a book or a fan and just blow it away i have a little fan here in front of me so i'm just going to do that from nas and this is their soft matte complete foundation and i'm in the shade macau and it's the medium deep number four and then when it comes to blush you have to make sure you're using the right blush for your foundation guys you cannot use a face blush for foundation or your powder brush for foundation you need a brush that is dense dense as this you can see how dense this is you cannot use a brush like this this is a powder brush it won't work you need a brush that is dense in order to apply your foundation and another kind of foundation brush you can use is this one that is flat at the top right here and i'm going to use this one and this is from um, NYX and this is a NYX professional makeup brush and this is a number three brush and I'm just going to use my fingers to just dab it on my face okay I'm just going to blend this and when you're blend blending in your foundation you want to dab or you want to staple in you don't rub your foundation all over your face you want to do this like you're stamping it on your face this actually helps your foundation to go deep and settle into the right places so you just do this when it comes to your foundation and if you realize i put just a little bit of that foundation you can see that shade matches me very well you see i put just a little bit at the fore at my forehead i don't like too much foundation on my forehead i just use whatever is left on the brush and i walk it into my forehead i don't need too much foundation on my forehead why i like to do this because when i put foundation on my forehead then i have to try to blend it and it becomes even more difficult when the foundation is not your shade then you have this line of demarcation in your forehead or around your forehead you don't want something like that you want your foundation to look just like your skin you can see my forehead it has just a little bit of put up it almost looks like i don't have anything on my forehead so that is totally fine and that's perfect so you highlight underneath your eyes and highlighting also is good if you have dark circles under your eyes because that helps to cover it so you highlight underneath your eyes with your forehead your cube your um the bridge of your nose and your chin right here so that is what i'm going to do the highlighter the concealer that i'm going to use to highlight this is the radiant creamy concealer from nas 
and I'm using the shade caramel you can apply your concealer just like the way I did over here and you should be good and you don't need this you don't need that much concealer just because I love the highlighting effect underneath my eyes so that is what I'm going for some people just do like three dots like one two three and that's it and they're good with that and they just blend it up so you can definitely do three dots then I'm going to also highlight my chin and then right here the bridge of my nose you don't have to put anything right here like I said it's just the way my nose is shaped that's why I have to do this okay you don't have to do it you don't have to do it just put just the one you have underneath your eyes and that should be good you can use a brush to blend your free or concealer or you can use a sponge I'm using this sponge from Beauty Blender I used this before that's why it looks dirty so I just soaked it a little bit so it's a little bit damp but you want to make sure you squeeze out all the water I use a napkin to squeeze out all the water from it once I have that I'm going to start to blend you see how that blends that's what we want to see so let's go now to our nose and you blend the nose So that's when you blend it that's how it should look at the end of the day and the less product you put in the less blending you have to do so let's blend this and when I'm blending my concealer mm -hmm. I start by from the edges then I walk my way in so I'm going to start blending the edges first like here you can see how that already looks well blended that's what you want to do because when you start to blend in from in here then you take all the product here and you're dragging it out but you want your edges to look as well as blended as much as possible then now you want to walk your way in you look up and you blend underneath your eyes so we must have to make this weird face in order to blend this thing because if not this will not look right there you go see how nice and blended that looks you also want to do that over here I have to move my nose in order to blend my nose properly see that product in there that's what I want to blend and I just take whatever is left on my sponge and I just do it on my eyes as well your concealer acts also as a good base for your eyeshadow now if you feel like your concealer is not well blended and you're having a hard time blending the edges you can go in with your sponge or maybe with your beauty blender whichever one you use to apply your foundation so I'm going in with my brush and I'm just going to dab towards the edges and once you put on a cream a product like a concealer you want to set it whatever setting powder you have you can use so I'm just going to use my sponge the same one that I use for my foundation and I'm going to do this that's how much I have on the sponge and I'm going to set my under eyes first you can see how this looks nice and set in place while this one still looks a little bit oily or something so you make sure you set all the places that you have that concealer on it's just set and set if you don't set it it's going to break apart it's going to start loosening up so you want to make sure you're setting it good if you have to move your nose like me move your nose and you get in that crease right there and that crevice right there you want to set it if you don't set that area it's gonna crease guys trust me at times I have to use uh, I have to use a brush in order to get in there so I use a brush and I just apply that setting powder in there. Now after you set those parts that you have, um, you apply your concealer. Now you want to set your entire face. Remember you have on a cream product which was a foundation. You can use your powder, any powder that you have that is your skin shade, you can use that. I love to use the one from Fenty and this is the Fenty um setting powder and i'm using the shade honey i'm going to use the same sponge and i'm just going to take same amount just like that and i'm going to set my face
if you want your foundation or your makeup to last you all day you need to do this you need to set your foundation so for those of you who just maybe apply the foundation and that was it for you this is the step you should be going next into so all the other parts where i had foundation that is what i'm setting right now so if you did just the foundation and you did not do the concealer underneath your eyes you should be doing this part right here bronzing is something that brings that dimension back to your face you know the normal bronzing is something that brings structure back to your face so what i'm going to use is this palette from morphe so i'm going to use this bronzy shade right here this one now when you want to contour when you want to bronze you want to suck in your cheeks so when you suck in your cheek your cheeks it gives you a kind of acts like a landmark on where you need to apply that product so when i suck in this right here that line right there that's where i want my bronzer to stop so you're not and you're applying your bronzer up here towards your cheek and not underneath so you will see what i'm going to do then i'm going to go into that shade i'm going to tap off the excess start small and you build up you can already see that that's giving me a little bit of dimension right there i'm going to go back into that shade there you go and you also want to do that on your forehead and then you also want to count bronze this part right here so it gives you that slim and then i use whatever is left on the brush i pinch it like this i also bronze my nose so i do this when you do this it's not so harsh you can see how soft that looks it's not so harsh but if you feel like you need to contour your nose then you can go a little bit deeper if i feel like i need a little bit i'm just going to take my brush and i go back into that product tap out the excess you don't want too much on your nose guys trust me you don't want to you, you don't want your nose to look like you have two lines running down your nose no that doesn't look cute and then you also want to take that into your eye your eyebrow just hit it in there just so it gives you could see how structured and so you know what i mean so you also want to do that in there just brush it into your eyebrow just so it has that so if you want if you like blush then you can apply your blush if you like your highlighter you can apply your highlighter i'm going to apply a blush and highlighter because i love it and i'm going to first of all use my highlighter but if you want your highlighter to really pop out well it's better to set your face first before you use your highlighter because the little wetness makes the highlighter to pop out more so i'm going to use the same setting spray and i'm going to set my face just dry it off you don't have to go buy a fan to be doing all of this mm -mm. let's try to use what we have so if you don't have a fan use your book use a book use something and you blow it out see this you could try the thing right now i already love the way it looks look at how my nose look S snatched snatched so I'm just going to take that product, tap out the excess, and I'm going to highlight from here. There you go. I can definitely see my highlighter. And I like to move it into... To highlight your nose, you just need a slim brush. Any little brush you have. Take it, and you just do this. So you're highlighting the tip of your nose, and it's going to give you that effect of a pointy nose. I know some of us like it right there. I'm also going to do this right here, highlight right here. See how my nose looks highlighted right here and then you can also see the one that comes down on the bridge of my nose. To line your lips, just look for a brown pencil. A brown pencil can go with anything. Go with a brown pencil.
with this you can even just put some lip gloss and you're good we are not going to do any anything when it comes to the eyes because if i was supposed to do an eye look in this it's going to be a very long video so i'm going to do a separate video where i teach you guys how to apply your eyeshadow mascara is the last thing you need to do but before you apply mascara you want to set your face the last time you set your face before you apply mascara if you don't set your face before you apply mascara when you apply mascara and then you set your mascara it's going to bleed all over so you don't want that so let's set our face now So let's apply some mascara. I'm using this Bad Gear Bang Mascara from Benefit and I'm just going to look for the hairs that I don't have. So here we go with the final look. I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. So if you do like videos like this where I actually teach you guys how to apply your makeup and how to make it look flawless, please let me know. I'm here for you guys. I just want to do what you guys like. I want to be able to um, connect with you guys in this light, you know, just sharing you with you guys what I love to do and I hope you guys do appreciate it. So if you did like this video, please leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Do not forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you did like it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you feel compelled to, please go ahead. But I'll appreciate if you can consider subscribing. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for watching this video. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Until then, take good care of yourself. Remember that you are the original. There is none like you. Bye guys.